What is up guys? Right in front of us, I have the latest generation Pixel 4 smartwatch. And in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you a handful of settings, tips and tricks, and some cool things you need to know about this smartwatch, starting from the beginning all the way to the complex stuff. This way, if you're somebody who's new, just picked one of these amazing watches up for the first time, you know all the ins and outs. So let's get started. And yes, I'll be sure to include timestamps of everything in the description down below for your pleasure. Let's start off by understanding the gesture controls. A simple slide from the top to down will bring us access to our control center. Long hold bottom and up will take us to our notifications. And if some of these notifications are becoming annoying, maybe it's like a dedicated app, you just don't wanna disable all your other notifications or put your device in do not disturb mode. A simple swipe either left side or the right side. You could swipe to remove or long hold. You could disable that individual notification on the smartwatch to no longer pop up on your watch. And if you like to clear all, scroll all the way down to the very bottom, you have a clear all tab right down here. Additionally, you can slide between right or left side to switch between all your many different toggles, tiles you have created. And on the top right here, you have a physical button right there and a digital crown, which you could push down. If you press both at the same time, it'll actually take a screenshot. And a long hold on the top physical button on top of the digital crown will activate Gemini. And then I almost forgot about this, but double tapping the top button will actually take you back to your previously open app as well. And a long hold on digital crown will get you to the power off screen, reset, or emergency info. And then when receiving an incoming call, you can either answer or hang up from here. You can also cover your wrist like so. It will continue to call conversation where you can still decide on picking up or not. It just won't buzz your devices like your watch nor your phone. But if you like to answer, you could tap here. And go all the way to the very bottom, answer on watch by selecting this. By doing it that way, it will automatically pick up the call right away on your smartphone. And then you could end the call like so. Now when navigating your watch, if you think that the icons are kind of like small, not large enough for you in case you have a hard time of seeing, you can always go back and change this. By launching the Google Pixel app that's paired to your smartwatch upon its tutorial, on this page, scroll down into watch preferences and tap on display. And in here you could adjust the font size. And what I like to do is actually bring up the watch and visually see the adjustments being done in real time, like so. Now when tapping the digital crown, this will take you to your apps. If you scroll all the way to the very bottom, you can change it to the grid view, which you may find it's quicker to navigate. And of course you can always go to the very bottom to go back to list view if you like. But an app that's actually worth talking about is the emergency SOS app right here in personal safety. In the personal safety app, if you tap on it, here you could double check and make sure you have emergency SOS enabled, as well as you could double check to see if you have your emergency contact also included. But if we go back out of this, go and double check and make sure that you have fall detection enabled, as well as crash detection. But on the very bottom, something that is disabled by default is loss of pulse detection. If you click on it right here, it will instruct you to go to your phone, and by simply launching your phone, it will immediately take you to the app as well as the page you need to be in. On this page, it will give you a brief overview on what it does and how it works. So as soon as your watch detects there's no pulse, it will immediately get a hold of 911. And after you actually read through all this and you're comfortable with this, you can tap continue, enter your information, and on this page, it will play a little demo video on how it will look like on your watch and what it does. And you could stop the 20 second timer or end the emergency call for emergency responders to get to your attention in case you do need aid. Tap continue and then just select turn on. And now you have pulse detection enabled and you can always go back and disable that if you like. So that's how you can enable that and that is what's disabled by default. And you'll see it on your watch also enabled too and you could disable it from there. But real quick before we get to the next part, where it says feature in the emergency SOS, Click on it and make sure this is enabled, Emergency SOS, and then go ahead and go down to touch and hold to call. By having this check marked, if you tap the crown button five times, it'll take you to this call 911 screen. And it activates if you long hold on the screen and keep holding, it will immediately dial 911. So it doesn't falsely toggle anymore. 
Now, a new feature that this watch has is to raise to speak to Gemini. You see, now you could just simply raise your wrist like this and ask it questions like, what's the time in London? And Gemini will immediately respond without you verbally having to use the wake up word or long hold this button to activate Gemini. So that's a new feature now available to the Pixel 4. To activate this, simply go into the Pixel Watch app and scroll down to Watch Preferences. In here, go ahead and tap on Gestures and Enabled Raise to Talk. It may ask you to enter your email address or select your correct email address. But once you do that, now when you raise your wrist, you will see like a little light feedback giving you a heads up that Gemini is listening to your command. And Gemini, this time for the Pixel 4, is also offline supported. So when it comes to doing simple commands on, on features that's built into your smartphone or your Gemini watch, it's able to actually do that without needing a Wi-Fi or cellular reception. Now offload maps is supported on this watch. So if you tap on the Google Maps, if you scroll all the way to the very bottom, you will see an offline section right here. And here you could tap on to download your maps. In order to download map section, to have it available on the offline section, you need to launch Google Maps on your main device and tap on your profile above here and go ahead and click on offline maps right down here. And on the very bottom, you should be able to see select your own map. And you can literally click and drag and move it around on the section where you want this to be offloaded. And once you're satisfied, you can just tap download and you'll see the progress right there in real time. Once it's done downloading, you need to go to your Pixel Watch and you'll be able to find it on the bottom right here. You could tap download and it'll show you the status right there. But that's how you could simply offload some maps on directly to the watch itself. And then if you've been finding this video informative and helpful so far, if you could kindly take two seconds to hit that like button like, those truly do help out the channel. And a lot of the channel will be continuing to be powered by you guys, the viewers, which is why you don't see brands for like a sponsorship segment or anything like that, taking time away from you, like a minute or two off your time. Thanks to you guys to continue hitting that like button like, we don't have to rely on them. So thank you so much for just hitting that like button. It really does mean a lot. Let's carry on. Now the Pixel 4 does have a fib detection. If you like to set this up, you need to manually go into the ECG app of this app right here where it says Fitbit ECG. You will need to click on it and it'll walk you through the whole like setup with Fitbit procedure. And once you link up your Fitbit account with your Google account, pro tip, make sure they're both using the same email address for the best experience or else you're gonna run into some troubleshooting problems. But once you log in, uh, that's basically it. The watch will be automatically ready to detect if you have any AFib issues. But right now, since we already set all that up, you can just tap here and it will start like an ECG. Now, unfortunately, I am using a Samsung smartphone. And because of that, we are losing some features, such as the camera control is not compatible on the Samsung. And on Samsung, unfortunately, we do not have the ability to have our phone unlock our smartwatch. But if you are somebody who uses a Pixel phone paired with their Pixel watch, and you like your phone be able to unlock your smartwatch when you unlock your phone with Face ID or Touch ID, I could walk you through the setting to enable this feature. So on this main page, just scroll down to Watch Preferences and tap on Security. And on the bottom right here, you should be able to see a setting that says Unlock Watch from phone. And by selecting that, now when you unlock your smartphone, as long as you're wearing your Pixel Watch, it will automatically unlock your watch. So no need to enter that PIN code manually. Now, if you ever misplaced your watch or misplaced your phone, of course, by bringing down Control Center, you do have the ability to ring your watch from here. You can just ring, it will just play a sound on your pair of device. But if you lose your watch, you can use the Google Pixel Watch app to locate your missing watch. To do this, simply just go into, click on System, and from here, tap on Find Hub. This will launch the Google Find app. From here, you could just locate your Google device, select it, and on the bottom right here, you can select Play Sound, and it will mark your last known location so you can backtrack and locate it. And then the last feature that's disabled by default, that's my personal favorite, is the ability to actually feel the time. You see, if I simply take my two fingers and double tap the screen, I could feel it telling me the time without me having to actually look at the watch. If you'd like to enable this feature, simply just go into your watch settings and go down to accessibility. 
And then from here, scroll down until you find something that says vibrate. Here it is, vibration watch. Tap on it, enable it. And now if you take two fingers on the watch face, it will actually vibrate the, your wrist, telling you the time. But there we have it. Those are some amazing things you need to know, especially after picking up the Pixel 4 watch. And now you are up to speed on all the cool things this watch can do so you can use it to its full potential. For more cool Android stuff, maybe you'd like to see some tips and tricks that the stylists can do on the Samsung S25 Ultra. I cover that in greater detail in this video over there on some cool third-party apps and more. You should definitely download to really get the most value out of that device. Thank you so much for watching.